Hired companies went from rags to riches and to rags again. But what has the entire episode really meant for the Raju family? Do they support Ramalinga Raju through his ordeal? Well, his wife Nandini Raju is standing right by him, weathering the storm that is ravaging her family. Minakshi Shekhar met Mrs. Raju. Here is an exclusive report. Almost three months after India's biggest corporate fraud broke out, investigators looking into the Satyam scam are still looking for answers as to why Rabalinga Raju did what he did. If the intention was to get more money, then where is that money? If the intention was to divert funds, where is that money sitting right now in the city of Hyderabad? Ramalinga Raju is now a villain and a poster boy for bad corporate governance. But it's not surprising that even now, Ramalinga Raju's wife, Nandini Raju, is not willing to desert him. While it was difficult to convince her to speak on camera, we did manage to speak to her about issues relating to her husband's alleged misdeeds, the life and trauma beyond Satyam. These are exclusive excerpts from my conversation with her. The first question, of course, that I asked her was, why did Raju disclose this on 7 January? What happened? Was there a particular reason? I came to know only one day before he wrote the letter, and both my sons came to know by watching it on the television that day. Whatever Raju did was to protect Satyam. He considered the company his baby and nurtured the company. He knew the company would go completely bankrupt and whatever is happening with Satyam, now they say is exactly what he wanted. To have a stable board and ensure that employees were secure and clients would stay. That's why he decided to disclose this now. I also asked Nandini Raju, it is alleged that her husband's debacle was due to his excessive love for his sons and metas. What were her reactions to these? He has not helped his sons by taking any money from Satyam. No money has been diverted to either of the Meta's companies. Meta's Infra has enough money to execute all their projects on hand. But if various agencies are going to freeze everything, how do they expect Meta's to function? If the government allows them to function, only then can they operate. If they give Meta's the opportunity, they will execute each and every project they have on hand. But given that land is such an important connection, I had to ask Mrs. Raju how she responded to statements that her husband was greedy for land and that he diverted funds from Satyam to fulfill this greed. There have been reports that he has diverted Satyam funds to buy large land parcels and kept them on Benami names. His extended family members have purchased this land over the past 50 years. The same have been registered under various land-owning companies. These are not Benami companies, rather properly registered with ROC and taxes have been filed with the IT department. All the land owned by various family members were purchased in the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s and recently in 2006. As investigations continue, it is clear that the Raju family will be scrutinized for every move. And that too was one of my questions as to how they are coping with this. We are trying to keep to ourselves and find solidarity within the family. People close to us know how we are as individuals, so we are not meeting anyone else. The investigating agencies have been troubling us a lot and anyone from the family whose pictures appear with Raju have been questioned, right from the kids to the adults and my side of the family as well. If we have not been in the know, how do they expect the extended family to know anything? It may be a while more before the final truth is out, but for the Raju family, it is clear that their image and reputation has been tarnished. And my conversation with Nandini Raju only makes the entire Satyam saga a little more complicated, as Raju seems to have kept his closet away from his doings. In Hyderabad, Minakshi Shekhar, NDTV Prophet.